one here. We got Beast versus Mouserat, uh, in one of the matchups that I think is uh, is so weird on paper because you have Charizard who has the ability to kind of get like really quick explosive uh, damage onto Pikachu, except most of the time you're too busy being juggled uh, for the entirety of the match. So we're on PS2. Uh, gonna start things off trying to go for a Nair to hopefully maybe follow up some loops. And that's exactly what Beast is gonna try and avoid, except gets caught. Oh, actually, Mouse Rat almost had the right idea on that roll in, but just misses. Yeah. The Mouse Rat actually fading away. That's one of the things that you're gonna be getting caught by a lot as uh, as like Charizard or just PT in general, trying to look for those whiff grab attempts. And it's just so hard that Thunder Jolt's gonna cover a lot of what Beast wants to go for too. But now you're at that window where you know that you're gonna have to deal with this as a player. And let's see if Charizard can maybe snipe out one of those early victories because we've already seen it happen a few times with that, that box set as well. I'm sorry, I'm just look, I'm looking at microphone settings. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that was the saddest feeling. <laughs> I just heard like I'm so sorry. I'm looking at my but it's okay. I was I was dead for a little while there. <laughs> Almost like Beast just a second ago. The cross up the forward air and trying to look for maybe a stage spike on the quick attack. And the Flare Blitz is going to back off Pikachu. Now we're at the window where Beast exactly wants him. At 88% or so, uh, even at 180, never mind. Thunder Jolt is going to confirm it at dash attack at that range, and that's going to close it out. You're right, Havillion. We got a Pokemon battle on our hands, and uh, this is definitely one of the better options, I think, for this window. You want to try and catch uh, Mouse Rat uh, swinging in, try and get one of those... Uh, Razor Leaves into a Vine Whip or such. Also, you got the back throws at the ledge. Charizard could be looking for a fly probably out of shield pretty soon if Mouse Rat keeps that up, but... Mouse Rat just kind of keeping it safe! Not safe enough, though. The back air is finally going to take it out. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. We've seen more than a few yeah. seconds with Squirtle. Oh, my God. What is happening here? <laughs> the down throw downer. <laughs> oh, and you're not leaving yet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just popping in. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's all good. Welcome back. Using the racing leaf, uh, excuse me, the neutral, uh, the neutral edge, just like fastball down, get yourself back to stage. Oh, I like the fade away. Probably looking for a spot dodge instead, just getting out of range of that thunder. This is a real Pokemon trainer game. We haven't even seen Charizard for like a minute. Yeah, it's got, like it's just understanding the matchup. You, you sometimes, even if it's your best character, you cannot go for it all the time if you never get the opportunity to actually swing. We saw the startup for a Razor Leaf there as he looked for the switch into hard into the punish. Upbeat. Oh, no, actually, nothing off of that there. Just trying to go for maybe looking for a roll away. Uh, it was Beast. So I looked for air to air with that fair two off the platform, but that was a good decision by Mouse Rat in the forward area. He's not going to take it just yet, but a charge are still just heavy enough. The dash attack is going to take it even at 165, or especially at 165. It's okay, it's switching right into Ivy Sword, not straying from the game plan too far. Ooh, parry, getting that falling up there. Oh, this is going to be good damage. Oh, you can see that Malstrat was definitely looking for the Pokemon, uh, the trainer switch right there. And Malstrat just, oh, never mind, going to get caught by the back air, but not going to die just yet. So that's huge for Malstrat because. Uh, it's just, as long as you can make it difficult for Beast to close out the stock, you're in a great spot. I'm really kind of waiting, because uh, Mouse Rat, what Mouse Rat has been doing pretty frequently is quick attacking either off or underneath ledge back onto stage. So I'm looking for Beast just to intercept that. In that case, we did it with just run off air, but I was more looking for something like up smash to intercept it. But, you know, if you're in the position to fair, then you can just do it. Oh my god. You know what? Actually, that was one of the best Skull Bash decisions that Maltrat has gone for because in that spot, you if you go a little early, Beast was definitely timing it for the quick attack. So you end up holding off a little bit longer and Beast just holding his ground up top of the sh uh, uh, on top of that platform. And actually, it's working out. Oh, he's just going to free fall. Doesn't end up getting the second quick attack to get back in the stage and Beast is going to taunt on him to make him feel a little bit worse about it. Beast makes people feel bad. Hey, you know what? You gotta get in the player's head, man. That, that's, <laughs> that I, honestly, I'm on that same boat. Like, uh, I like if, if you're not adding in that extra layer of getting into someone's head, especially in a fighting game, you're you're really not you're, you're not taking full advantage of what the one v one concept is. Sure, yeah, we always like we're all good friends for the most part, but if you're not really establishing this someone, like, all right, I'm gonna sauce you in these games. 
you, you don't get that extra level past that. It, uh, I'm not even talking about the whole talent nonsense that's been going on on Twitter lately or uh, today. Like, it, it's just, it, it's nice to see when somebody feels confident in themselves. And we've already seen Mouse Rat do the same thing. So let's see if Mouse Rat can answer back after what was a mistake with a dominant game or if Beast Cruises with it. I feel like after, like, especially with players, like, no, no offense to Mouse Rat, but Beast has been in a lot has had a lot more of just raw competitive experience than Mouse Rat seems to have, despite Mouse Rat's uh, recent Wi-Fi tear. To like, be fair, is- to be fair though, I just like just on that point. Um, it, it, even though it like Beast may have more live experience, we're still in the scenario, uh, the situation where we're, we've been on Wi-Fi, and Mouse Rat has been absolutely amazing on Wi-Fi. So I don't think I, I don't think that that's necessarily the most fair um, thing to put on Mouse Rat, but. Uh, I mean, it's kind of similar to like, let, let, let's say, uh, like light, right? Like light hasn't played like next to any Wi-Fi at all from what we've seen. And when he first comes online, it, it, he's probably not going to beat most of the people that you would see online right now because they've had that experience. So it's just the setting of like the setting of nature at that time. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. It's it's less of the uh, Wi-Fi versus live experience and more just raw bracket experience and high level bracket experience because beast has been in the like a, in a loser's finals situation a lot more frequently he's been in a mm-hmm. uh in like a deep bracket like post sd experience pros- i'm willing to bet a little bit more than mouse rat so after an sd in such a high profile game like being able to corral your emotions takes a little bit of time to that's uh, fair to i, I- I can definitely, I can definitely agree with that assessment on that. Um, also, uh, we're seeing a switch to Mario, which I think is entirely based off the fact that we're now on Battlefield, because Mario is going to do a much better job with boxing with Pikachu on Battlefield by comparison to say Charizard. Yeah, for sure. Mario on Triplats is a, a demon, but he jumps a tier. <laughs> And oh he's yeah, already top tier. <laughs> yeah, we've already seen. Uh, we already seen. Like, if you intentionally leave open uh, a stage like uh, Yoshi's, you're gonna see majority of the, uh, uh, the the Mario counter pickers go there because they're just trying to get that kill off the top. But I like what Beast game plan sees behind it. You, you have Mario who can kind of slow down the gameplay of Pikachu, and uh, it, it's it just you always have to respect that up smash out of shield and such. So let's see if Mouse Track could do so. We're just going for the turnaround dash grab instead of the up smash. It's so funny how like a lot of Pikachu's like bad or even even matchups usually just make something more. And I guess this goes for every bad matchup, but for Pikachu is such a great character. Um, all of his bad matchups usually take away something really versatile from Pikachu. In which case, for this matchup, it's Pikachu's ability to just recklessly, like, press buttons. Like, Mario's punish game with his smash attacks and up smash, or F smash in the case of uh, Mouse Rat showing what's what, uh, Mario can just, like, hit Pikachu's, like, aerial options so well and anti air really, really strongly. Alright, here we go. Beast trying to look for. Like a quick attack back down in, trying to get a little bit aggressive in that situation. Look for up smash. Yeah, now now we're in the the Mario book of up smash position. You just start throwing it out there, hoping to catch a jump out of shield or like maybe a back air out of shield and such. Try to look for a spot dodge possibly in that situation for the forward smash. But see if Beast can maybe close this out. But I like the way that Mouse Rat's playing. Just like fade in, fade out. Don't overcommit because you're just asking for trouble by playing on top of Pe- uh, Mario at this point. for a kill, but Mouse Rat has uh, been relatively good throughout like, all of the matches that I've seen him play, where he's just really bad at Pikachu's like more difficult matchups, like whether he plays a Game & Watch, a Mario, like a Ness, he's been proven that he has this studied these matchups pretty thoroughly, as you need to do when you're solo manning a character. Yeah, that's just the concept, the nature of the game. Like, you need to make sure that you have those options, uh, those matchups covered. <laughs> Mouse Rat just got a swing right now. But back air out of shield is going to force Beast off stage once again. Beast has been consistently going for those neutral Bs on landing. But because- oh, wow, you know what? I, I, highly res- I highly respect that because you already got rid of Beast's jump a second ago. So he's probably not expecting you to go for something like a Skull Bash off stage. And that was good mental awareness from Mouse Rat. You know, of all the times for that for that skull bash to work, 
Speaking of Skull Bash, I guess. <laughs> like Mario throwing the back of his head around. <laughs> that man needs to see the doctor. Like, I, I can't. I can only imagine throwing your head back like that repeatedly. <laughs> it's not good uh, for your health. Several concussions, but luckily he has a PhD in another timeline. Yeah, in a different timeline. <laughs> but can he treat himself properly? I don't think he trusts his brother to do it. Actually, for that matter, they got everything. They got Dr. Goomba. They, that, that, that world has gotten weird. <laughs> Dr. Goomba Tower. <laughs> One of the come greatest on. things that come out of a gotcha game ever. All right, so let's do what Mousetrap is doing. Just kind of dashing up on shield to see how uh, Beast reacts. Beast is really looking forward to these fairs off stage. He's, I mean, he's a stock behind at this point. He needs to get this kill looking uh, soon. I like the dash cancel, dash attack too, trying to catch maybe a quick attack in. There's been a lot of times where Mouse Rat has kept regularly gone for that. You see Mouse Rat looking for these down air baits, trying to get an approach. Oh no! That, a, if that yeah, was a jab block, cool. that could have been a stock, but unfortunately, uh, Mouse Rat ended up falling off stage. Double jump, double jumps, and wall jumps only to grab a Okay. Yeah. Weak back air. Here we go, the back here is going to cover the neutral getup. See what Beast can maybe do about this. Trying to look for a roll up the ledge, trying to go for the tri state shuffle as Cody reverse to it. Let's see. Well, another roll behind, but just up. Uh, there it is, another up smash. Alright, now we're still at the window where Mario can cheat a game. Like, Pikachu, uh, you see Mouse just looking for one of his retreating up smashes to hopefully get a stock. But Mario, if at the right window. Oh, you know what? Um, that move busted. Don't <laughs> Ray touch me. Thunder. Don't yeah. touch me. <laughs> like, Don't touch like, me. Out there. The cloud like, spawns frame one. Like straight up. Like okay, I got the grab. This could lead to a problem. Like you, you saw. Like Beast was ready to carry him over. He was gonna get that platform. Possibly drop down there and maybe a fair. Mouse Rat having none of that. The thunder just coming in and dealing with that entire situation uh yeah so i i don't know if we'll see the mario again i think the idea of it was good for the stage but we're probably gonna see the switch into um into the pokemon trainer here yeah i was willing to think so the mario was a like it's a good idea in on uh, on paper like we're going to battlefield mario pika is like pretty like a pretty well received matchup for Mario uh, like on one of his best stages. There's nothing that should go wrong here, but paper is way different from practice when it comes to pretty much any fighting game, and it looks yeah, like... Hy exactly. Uh, Hypo hypotheticals are one thing, but the absolute is that you got sauced, and occasionally you just gotta hold that out. But we'll see what happens here in the next game. Uh, I don't think Beast is really gonna um, like, let that get to him too much. That was one of the things that um we saw out of him uh, against bonk oh wow we're actually gonna see the mario stick oh wait no did he mean to stay uh might have been might have meant to switch or we're confirming stage oh, okay mm. all right so they're still they're still figuring out where we're gonna go but maybe, maybe. Ready? oh no okay so we're okay. still gonna see the mario beast is committed to the cause um possibly in another small stage like maybe smashville i don't think we see mario on the wide stage unless i'm completely wrong here uh, PS2, maybe? I often I often see Beast just, like, be fast to come through. Okay, Smash Bros. Okay, yeah. I figured that if it was going to be uh, Mario still, it had to be a small stage because you want to be able to box with Mar uh, with Pikachu up close. So, like, Beast is really looking for the trade. Like so, you see him going for the up smashes, the forward smashes, just trying to get Mousetrap while he's being very aggressive. Okay, tr um, another tr aerial trade. Uh, up tilt versus Nair. It looks like Mouse Rat is just so ready for these landing aerials. Like, he's either stuffing them out with Pikachu's a disjointed tail or making sure to dash back and dash back and effectively punish. Oh my god. <laughs> just the match of that thunder must be nice. But you know what? I, I, I respect it out of Mouse Rat because if you can just shut down that whole situation and, uh, like, just out of anticipation that you're going to get punished. Uh, then that just makes it so much worse for Beast because Beast finally gets a chance to get in and you just lose. So that's the jump and yep, no jump available to, to Beast there. Mouse Rat gonna go cover that. Uh, pretty much the only thing I think he had going from there was try to catch an early start of forward air. You saw, but uh, Mouse Rat covered it with the forward air. 
time. That's right, being so much more disciplined, just make, being ever so willing just to take a ledge, take the amount of stage that uh, Beast is giving him, and hold on to his lead. Oh, just kind of chilling in the center stage there, just back off, go for a bit of zoning, just so that way he can catch something off guard. And you saw uh, Beast was actually going for a cape in that situation. I think it was maybe anticipating a thunder, or just something as a get off me option. It's hard to it's hard to pick get off me options when your opponent just seems willing to point th to thunder jolt and stay back. Yeah, exactly. Like Pikachu is just the suppressor of uh, just being able to anticipate. Like you try to do something in it, like just expecting them to come in, and then they just cancel the last second and go for a quick attack instead, or go for one of those thunder jolts. And like so, you see that uh, Mousetrap just been playing around it, but back throw might finally do it. Here we go, the first dox in uh, for Beast. 92% already. The oh, that should be a hard punish. Okay, a uh, throw under roll, true combo. Gonna go for it here. Yeah, looking for the force map to the ledge. Decent, like half decent punish in that situation. Not too much else you can get off that. Gets a jab. Well, here's the thing though. Like even so, with all of this uh, damage that Pikachu has on, if we see one missed uh, tech into a jab block, force smash will kill Pikachu at this window. And as you saw, he was going for it right there. Dash cancel up till hopefully looking for that situation, but the forward is gonna close it out once again. Yeah, these mid-range, uh, these like full hop, uh, forward airs off stage are coming in clutch for Mouse Rat. Like making, uh, it's one thing that Mario can be really susceptible is like when you force him into his air dodge, there's, mm -hmm. and he's off stage, his drift is really like straightforward. There you but, go! Oh, there was that's, that jab lock. No, no need, not even a jab lock, just a missed tech, just going for the nair. Uh, that's all you need if you're beast in that situation. Look for that spot so you can get that forward smash. Uh, but I agree with what you were saying. What, like, the, the main thing about. Uh, one of Pikachu's strengths, especially in this matchup, is is uh, direction control. If you can navigate Mario exactly how you want him to land, you're going to be in a great spot. And you saw Mouser was already ready to cover that air dodge, but unfortunately missed. Right out of the hit stun, maybe making that drag down, uh, Nair into down smash, and he doesn't have a jump. Yeah, you had the high recover right there, and that was a good job by Beast. You can't do that too often, but you got to hold it in your pocket when you can, and that ended up working out. I I'm really big fan of these dash cancel smash attacks that Beast goes for. It's it'll throw you off because you think they're gonna be out of space and maybe just go for a like an F tilt instead. Yeah, here we go. Gonna get back throw. Super good. Oh, I felt the forward air coming, but T Joel dash attack not gonna take it. Mario put a little put a couple bricks in his overalls. Yeah, and I, I gotta respect that option too. If you're Beast, you gotta be looking for that because you expect that he's probably gonna go for one, wait for the defensive option, and then fall off afterwards. But instead, he's gonna get the jump read into forward air, get to take the third stock as well. So forward air really being uh, exactly what Mousetrap needed. Mousetrap's gonna go up two games to one. Uh, I wonder if we maybe see a wider stage now in the switch back to PT, but I will say at least in that game too, uh, it looked like Beast had a much better idea behind what he needed to do with Mario in that matchup. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. Uh, his his general game plan and flow was, whether it be just him learning Mouse Rat or him learning uh, what Mario can do to counteract like base, uh, some of Pikachu's more uh, powerful tools, uh, he, seemed to, he seemed to be playing that at a lot better pace, and the score reflected it, like a close one-stock finish. Yeah, that, and that's um, one of the things as Mario is usually you're very good at playing on defense and punishing people for the overcommitment. It's very similar to the, the way we saw Hydra playing Palatina. But um, the thing is, just the way that Mousetrap was kind of mixing up that approach, going for the Dunder Jolts in the right spots, going for the quick attacks or that fading down airs to bait out a, a whiff grab. Um, I think that was really the detriment to the success for Beast. So let's see what we get, but this time it's gonna be a swap back to the char uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say back to the Charizard. It really is what it is. Uh, yeah. Back to PT. Um, I get the feeling it's probably a wider stage, but compared to before, uh, might be PS2, might be Kalos. 
feel like I'm feeling PS. Okay, never mind. I say I feel like it's PS2, but like I've been wrong like all three times. So, you know what? I respect. I like. I did. I definitely did not anticipate Smashville, but I respect it. Um, it seems like he's trying to go for the same idea as before, just trying to box up close with the Pikachu. Except this time, I'm gonna be using things like Fly, but getting hit multiple times on. Uh, shield pokes, it's really just leading up to free damage for Mouserat right now. Yeah, and once you get one hit with Pikachu against a big body like Charizard, like, Mouserat can just start cutting loose with some of these buttons. Mm -hmm. Like, everything just kind of works up until now when the matchup gets a lot more dangerous. Yeah, here we go. This, this is what I call the acceptance of 70. When you're a big character like this, wow, oh my god, just jump up and throw out a thunder on the read right there and gets a down down to fly. That's going to close it out. Uh, what I was saying with the acceptance of 70 whole thing is that as a big friend character, you have to understand when you're playing against characters like uh, well, OG Sheik or Pikachu and such, you're going to end up at that percent no matter what. It's about how you behave afterwards that makes the difference in the matchup. Absolutely. And, okay, getting right out of the top of that high skull bash. Going around the Ivy down air and getting a uh, down throw down air of his own. Oh, okay. You Wait. know what? I, I like it because at that spot right there, right? Mouse Rat is running up, going for the down throw, trying to look for a Pokemon change there. But instead, you got uh, the buffer uh, fly coming out of the Pokemon switch. And you, you it's basically, it's kind of like a 50 50 on defense. It's like, okay, are they going to fly here or are they going to make, or are they going to hold shield? And uh, Beast getting the right call. It's beyond just frame one invincible, but now you have a invincible switch into an armored, like aggressive option. It gets double whammy. You have to be really careful. I'm gonna take a wild guess that when Beast plays like fighting, uh, fighting games, it's like, uh, say Street Fighter, definitely somebody who likes to wake up DP. Oh, he's definitely looking. At <laughs> I feel like the fly is his version of wake up DP. But right now, Mouse Rat is forcing. Uh, some good reco like good recovery control. The difference between the uh, Charizard and the Mario, though, is that you got multiple jumps. You don't have to worry about uh, being controlled by the Thunder Jolts or the Forward Airs as much. He's looking for these jumps coming out of Quick Attack, but Mouse Rat's place trying to get right under, uh, right under Charizard and start these sharking tools as a dash attack puts Charizard back off stage. That okay. check's not going to do it, but now if you're Mouserat, you got to be a little bit at least respectable. Never mind, you're going to throw out that forward smash right at the ledge after putting out that Thunder Jolt. Uh, especially at the high percent where Beast was. If you stay there, you get hit by that Thunder Jolt, and you might get a follow-up down air. And it's a, like, it's almost like a, edge, a ledge trapping flow. If he puts it down air at neutral, dis neutral get up distance, and then he fades back for the forward smash distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Per uh, like, extremely well played uh, ledge trapping. And uh, now we got Beast, though, bringing it back, getting it back down to one stock apiece. And we've already seen the Ivysaur put in very surprising damage on quick notions, so you have to respect it if you're Mouse Rat. He's swung out with some of these back airs, but Quick Attack is able to bypass them with relative ease. Ooh, that's a fair. It's a forward air, it's a back air, it's not fair, it's like, it's all of it. Right, what are we going to do? Fall down back air, trying to look for the follow up back air on the top platform too. Maybe go for a uh, Razor Leaf or Vine Whip on a jump. There's the final switch. Not having to worry about any uh, any potential combos now. It's all danger. You see Mouse Rat just kind of going in, but it's going to end up whipping on Order. shield. Ooh, Trying to look for a quick attack in with that off air. Yeah, Beast is doing a great job of covering covering space and building a wall, but Mouse Rat is ever so content just to drift back and hold, get back to ledge and get back to safety from there. Mm -hmm. One of the best things that Mousetrap's been able to do, too, is mitigate the ability for Fly to be accessed out of shield. Every time you see Mousetrap commit in, uh, he's fading away just far enough so Beast can't go for that up be out of shield or maybe even try to dash in and get a grab. Oh, what? Oh, my what? Lord. 
That's that grade A Parmesan cheese. Oh, that, right was so, that was so smart. <laughs> that's, that was so that's, smart. That's my like, right like there. you're just like you're just sitting there at the ledge, right? And you're just sitting there. Okay, uh, I've been able to ledge trap them consistently, so they went for the one back air. I'm fine. And then it hits through the damn stage because physics work properly in this game. <laughs> From downtown. <laughs> Look at that! Look at this! Look at this! His tail was literally through the stage! Yep. Okay, yeah. anyway, so we go... <laughs> like you said, extra Parmesan cheese right on top of the dish. We got Big ZD all in the house for you with some chicken parm on the side. Pour and we it got on. game number five coming in from Beast, making sure that he was able to get it in there. And now Mouse Rat has to deal with what was just a match that seemed so good for him. And then... Just get caught off guard. Now, th I was saying before that it's not, I don't think it was really uh, fair to kind of say that Mouse Rat doesn't have the same experience in a nutshell, but anybody would be pissed off about something oh, yeah. like that. That's, Beast has got to be feeling good. That's tilting, beyond tilting. Like, you, for having such a winnable game, like, even even if he wasn't, all, like, thinking about it immediately, like, you're starting to get a little complacent like getting your gearing up like oh, i just need to wrap up this game and i'm in grand finals i can prepare for hydra then you die at 70 to a cross stage mm -hmm. to sweet spot back air and it's like now you have to go into this game five like it's it's rough it's rough on your mental state yeah i think that's why we're seeing a pause out of this here like okay let me take a second let me figure this out where do i want to go yeah, sip uh, of water and, and <laughs> yep like take a breather uh, Beast has got to be feeling good. Mouse Rat wants to carry that same momentum. We've already seen Mouse Rat do an excellent job whenever things kind of get out of hand of bringing it back. I also agree with Jam. I like the idea of Ether cutting through stage and uh, just being buffed entirely. So, yeah, let's listen to Jam. Jam has the right ideas. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll be seeing the next game coming up. Winner of this is going to be facing Hydra, currently waiting in the winner side of Grand Finals. But right now we have probably one of the most difficult game five sets we've seen in the night with beast consistently running it back from looking like he's just kind of buried up against the wall mouse rat has also had some amazing stocks so see what happens here game number five losers finals of xeno wi-fi number 10 Let's it was number it. 10 right i said it that is number 10. right it's kind of like a used car salesman like if you say it just well enough and bs your way you could probably sell anybody anything that's uh it we yeah, lied that's <laughs> Let's go, Leaf. You know what? Oh, I right. never realized that when you talk cancel, that <laughs> that Leaf also cancels the word, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're keeping, you're keeping us here for a little bit longer. All right, so we're going to be getting uh, a stage switch uh, out of these two. Was not meant to be Smashville. Does Charizard have scales? Um... I have no. I don't think I've ever been asked that question. Do you before. think he's like? Do you think he's like more scale, more scaly than he is fleshy? Probably. Where are we going with this? What? I, I legit. What, what brought this on? What, what which, brought okay. this on? It's like, what do you think? I like to imagine it's like how Charizard's tail feels like on your face. <laughs> right, imagine like how I'm not going there. I was not uh, you know going what? It's been real, y'all. I'm um, <laughs> my name is Day Jax. I'm leaving for the night. I'm not sticking around for whatever the hell is going on. Now, now, what hold I am on. sticking around for You're is a game lizard, number five. Alright, alright, so <laughs> game number five back on battlefield. Uh, we're gonna just see the return of battlefield here. Let's see if this works in the favor of Mouse Rat or if maybe Beast can carry over that momentum from that really good last stock he was able to pull off. And speaking of the back air, definitely one of the best moves he could use in his toolkit at the ledge. Like so! Trying to go for the forward air, but not gonna get it. Beast like, putting on the pressure and not being afraid to go deeper and to look for these early kills because he knows that's where he can strike and win this matchup. Oh. The amount of times that Mouse Rat has used Thunder to cover like an in-place position on platforms, it, it has absolutely amazed me. And the amount of times he's able to like been able to land it is another thing. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not what else is there to say, but like, man, that move's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like exactly, like just, just the fact that it covers so much there. Uh, Alright, so gets the jump, but luckily for Beast, still has a few jumps available, or at least I think he does. It looks like he had one which he used to jump up B in order to bypass some of these Thunder Jolts. Going deep for it, 
Oh, no! Missing the tech. No. You know what? Honestly, I think that was part of V's game plan and uh, trying to reverse that Skull Bash or a quick attack with his own miss tech, but instead ends up getting caught for it. 35% already on the board after that unfortunate turnaround. Just making sure to get back to the center. Oh, okay, that empty grab the other way. I love how the chat is just completely, like, deformed into just, okay, so can we completely figure out the anatomy of Charizard? <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery, right? Like, he's a dragon, he's a wizard, he's, he's a not literal a Japanese he's a name, is wizard on, but he... He's a Dargan, except for when he's Mega X, which makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Like, That's if a Dargan. You're, if you're making him like a wizard thing, but then making his skin smooth, what's going on? <laughs> These are the questions, people. <laughs> These are the questions we need answered. And right now, what what Mouse Rat needs is to be able to land one of these ledge traps so he can just get a three stock to one lead. It's exactly what would be good for him because we've already seen how Beast has been able to just take away stocks so fast. And last thing you want is to be at an even position, especially here in number game five. Oh my god, my, my sentences aren't even like, I, I can't English anymore. I can't keep up. The, 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 the thunder is going to take don't, it apart. Don't DI in there. Don't like a lot of so much about Pikachu is like little checks and little knowledge checks of like some of some of the stuff at like super high level is just like, oh, that's true. But a lot of his kill setups are little knowledge checks. Like, do you know how to DI out here? Are you are you sleeping on this con when I grab you at the ledge here? Like, do you know th that you should be holding in on the second up air here? It's like so much little things, so many like fi little 50-50s that are like make make his uh, make his offense just so like. Yeah, but now, now we're in a situation where really most of those just are just so hard to deal with because Mouse Rat being up two stocks to none has the ability to kind of just like not just play a little reckless but also play back a bit because even though you see him kind of going in now, look at that, just kind of slowing it down. But gonna get caught finally on one of these jumps. Uh, so Beast, if Beast can snipe out an early stock, we still have a very doable game. But at the moment, Beast has to play so carefully, and Mouse Rat not even gonna come close to moving at him. Make him come to him. Yeah, you don't want to be, be even like, threatening any sort of like, hey, I'm just gonna hold into a heavy and get like blown up. Like, nah. What if I don't? Oh, oh, oh my God, <laughs> that down there. And like, I, the, the jump was already used on Mouse Rat, so that down there might have knocked away just enough to possibly kill. Him. Trying to look for an air dodge down or maybe a quick attack in for that forward smash, but not gonna get anything out of it. Forcing the jump over the Thunder Jolt and oh, okay, just the one back here. Alright, right, covering with that up, falling up your mouse rat, just racking up damage where he can. Charizard's gonna live for a long time on battlefield, so it's not like the beast necessarily has to worry too much just yet. But now we're reaching that window where one of these forward smashes at the ledge or a straight forward air on a jump read might close it out. Yeah, and it's yep. looking pretty grim at this point. Mouse Rat will keep taking these up airs all day. Like as long as he can keep Charizard up and off the ground, away from. Okay, yeah. Oh no! Try like. Definitely don't think that was intentional in any way. Oh, um, I, I kind of, I kind of inclined to disagree. I like I think like I think part of it was, was like I think part of the mindset was okay. Let me be reverse cancel uh, flamethrower the other way, right? But I don't like. I don't know if he was out of the resources for jump to be able to come back. But either way, that's going to be it. That's going to be Mouse Trap taking it uh, game five. And what was a, kind, of, kind of a ridiculous set we had. Roller coaster, uh, it, for sure. Yes. <laughs> so unfortunately, that's go, that's the way that things are going to go. Um, I don't know if he just meant uh, like decided to, to call it quits at this point or if that was just unintentional or if maybe it was intentional. Who knows? But Mouse Rat gets to take on game number five uh, in the run back against Hydra. So... Lose, loses the grands and we have to wait on Hydra for a moment. Hmm. And grand set was 